Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD, and yes, Microsoft has finally released Windows 10 technical preview for their phones. And but there's a problem, it's not gonna work for all their Windows phones. I was lucky enough to have one of the phones that it works with, and I, and this one is a Lumia 635. And uh, so far, so good. I'm not a huge Windows phone person. I, I mostly run an Android device or an iOS because that's what I support at my job. But the, the times that I have played with it, I did notice a couple of things that I noticed off back. Uh, one of the things that I noticed was that recently installed, I never saw this on the old version that this uh, phone had. Uh, also within the settings, so I'm gonna show you guys, within the settings, it looks a, a lot organized. It looks better than the, the last version that this phone had. I had Windows 8. And to get Windows 10, you actually have to be on Windows 8.1 to get Windows 10. Now, to get Windows 10, you actually have to go into the Microsoft App Store and get yourself the Insider Program app and accept whatever and do the fast track and it will push it down. And then it will push out whatever uh, requirements it needs before it goes into the Windows 10. It, it did basically three reboots before it finalized uh, the installation. It's not a huge installation, but... Uh, it didn't take too much space either. Uh, but as you can see, the system settings is real clean and I, I like it a lot, it's real organized. When I, when I click on the options, it, it, it takes me back to a Windows 10 uh, desktop environment. So that's awesome that they're doing that across the board. They're trying to bring what you're gonna get on the desktop to the phone. Now, the next thing that I noticed was the Action Center. Uh, at the old Windows 8, the version that I had on this phone, it only had these four options. Now you hit the expand, it gives you more uh, available actions so you could do uh, flybys. Like if you want to turn on your uh, your wireless, go VPN, Bluetooth, camera, you go high, uh, device discovery is pretty cool, all settings. So I could just go all the settings and there I go. Another thing that they upgraded was their photo app. Uh, for some reason, their photo app actually goes inside your uh, your OneDrive and just pulls all the files down into your phone. So I, I'm assuming that these things are like a, a link, but they're not really downloaded to your phone. It's just a link pointing to the OneDrive. But I did notice right here in the little corner that if you type something, uh, a lot of us are so used to like clicking on the text and just moving it like that with the Android as well as the iOS. For this, they actually gave you like a virtual mouse. This is so cool, I like, I like this part. This is pretty cool. The last thing that I noticed was the Lumia selfie app. I, you know, Correct me if I'm wrong, is this new, is this old? But uh, again, with the old version that I had on this phone, that app wasn't there. It got installed when I uploaded the Windows 10. I didn't pay too much attention when I upgraded to Windows 8.1. But uh, that's it guys, that's what I noticed so far with the Windows. 10 technical preview again it's only going to be uh pushed out or able to be pushed out to certain lumia devices if you guys have any questions or comments leave them at the bottom of the video don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy and i catch you guys on the next one peace out